You might recognise this fella, he's Gary Palmer, the captain of the England Law Squad. He featured in our cover of the Xandermania competition. Click the link on the screen to watch that show. He asked us along for a quick morning session on the Gloucester Canal to see if we could find some perch. A 5am start and no time to waste, Howell is reeling in not only his first cast of the day but also the first bite. Watch the mob behind the hooked one, are they trying to help or just mocking the afflicted I wonder. How people can't love these worm gobbling canal icons really baffles us. Hal tosses him back for more humiliation from his mates. He was caught on this black and gold spinner, but Gary has gone for something a little more realistic. The type of bait they're taking in there. Oh, look, there's a little perch coming up. Look, see him attack it then. Yeah, he's back again. Big eyes, little belly. Um, the fish black minnow, 90 mil weedless. Um, I like using weedless. There's a bit of reeds on the bottom, so I can bring it through the reeds. But the main thing is I can cast it onto the bank and just flick it in. As this lure is rigged weedless, it means that Gary can cast it onto the grass without any fear of it getting caught up. And then with a twitch, it plops right into the water's edge. And just let it just slip over. And then he lets it sink down like a tasty injured fish breakfast. No just holding it, watching the line on the surface, feeling the rod just in case I get a tug. Perch love to hunt around structures and along walls, so getting your lure as close to the wall as possible can often make all the difference. Another canal perch. Back fins are just absolutely stunning. First fish I ever caught when I was like four years old, and it's what hooked me from then onwards. Just slipping back in again. Off he goes to the depths. Perfect. For those that don't know, Howell is actually a bit of a superstar when it comes to fly fishing. He currently holds the Guinness World Record for casting 66 fly rods at the same time. Yes, that's 33 in each hand. He was also the accuracy casting champion with a plug. So he doesn't need trick cast like casting on the other bank and sliding it in. He can cast so close with such precision, he can lasso flying doves right out of the air. The dove slingshot took years to perfect and I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere about knocking it off its perch. Worry not, no harm came to the dove during the filming of Fishing Britain, though it did take 12 attempts to get this shot and the others died a horrible watery death. Only joking, we use kittens to practice on first. 80s wedding video stock footage coming up. Let's access the perch database. Here comes a bit of nerdiness. The classification in the animal world of Perciforms actually means perch-like, and that includes a whole world of spiny fish from tiny freshwater fish to marlins. Yet the mistakable colours of this freshwater perch are unlike any other in our European waters. Aggressive, curious and pack hunters, these critters have become very fashionable to catch, and not only grown in fame but also in size, thanks to another predator that has made itself very comfortable in our waters, and that's the American signal crayfish. Some think that it's thanks to these bite-sized nippers that fish like the perch are growing to huge sizes as they gorge on the ever-growing numbers. Currently the UK record caught perch is a stonking six pounds three ounces. Thank you Fishypedia! You really don't need a lot of equipment to catch perch but Gary has just about all of it and one of the most gratuitous items is this impressive reel slung under his cork. So what is it? It's based on an exist 
which is one of Daiwa's top fixed ball reels. And then it's got about six levels of customization. It's the highest customized factory model that they do. Um, it's all carbon fiber, it's all sealed bearings. Sit in a bucket of salt water for a week, it's not gonna hurt it. The drag on it is just absolutely superb. Line lay, I just can't fault it. Beautiful, beautiful reels. He's also using the Spro in sync rod. It's more and more rods now are coming out in white and red. Their entire range of in sync rods are all in red, all fitted with the new style rings to pull the balloon in down as it comes off the reel, straighten the line out as it goes through the rest of the rings, theoretically giving you more distance and more accuracy. Beautiful, lightweight, but loads of backbone. All the power comes in down here when you need it, and then it softens up, and then you've got a really nice supple tip that'll show all the bites, etc. Nice and sensitive, lovely rod, ideal length for on the canals, fishing off a boat. Um, but I tend to use it for small spinners, small plugs, any small lures at all, not just for drop shotting. It's a lovely little action and it's just so sensitive. Has Howell just had a bite? Look, look, that was a fish. You, yeah. How dare you not believe me? The fish grabbed it. Listen. And I'm, put you in some fish. Yeah, straight in the weed. Fisherman. So how long has that minnow been broken? About 10 casts. <laughs> But it was a fish, unless the weeds learn to pull that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, fish all. They're just brilliant the way they just power dive and everything. With the weedless one, it just pops it straight out. There's no worries with it not hooking. There we go. Nice little perch. On the other side, you can see there's a couple of sores, but it'll be fine. It'll soon settle down. It's the sheer size of the mouth. When you look at that and imagine, that's the last thing that little fish sees before it goes down and it's gone. Gary is a fantastic predator guide and if you would like to know more about his business then go to river-guide.co.uk